so a very good afternoon to all the students those who are present here in the second uh, volume of study india webinar and today in this webinar we have students from all across the world so to now in this webinar we have students from afghanistan we have students from nepal ethiopia and almost from all the parts of the world we have students here those who want to know about the study india program in detail and uh, like uh, we had been getting lot many queries from students on our social media as well uh, from the students those who wanted to know about study india scholarship study india fee waiver and about the complete process of study india so in this webinar today so we will uh, we will show the complete flow diagram of uh, like if a student plan to come to india for their higher studies how they can register on the website and right from the registration to choice filling everything will show in detail in this today's webinar and all the students like uh, uh, like if you have any query regarding the presentation or if you have uh, uh, any questions you can write uh, in the chat box and uh, we'll take up all the questions one by one at the end of the webinar so we'll start with the first slide so study india scheme uh, it's a scheme by the government of india ministry of education and uh, this scheme was started in 2018 and uh, this was launched in 2018 and since then the students have been coming through this scheme and uh, in the last academic year as well uh, we had around 5 to 6000 students those who have come uh, those who have come to india and uh, right now they are studying in study india partner institutes so uh, in this uh, scheme like uh, under the government of india's scheme of study india we have almost all the iims with us we have indian institute of technology national institute of technology and other premier private institutions with us so the process of taking the institutions under study india scheme uh, is as per the mandates given by the ministry of education so we have taken filters of nirf and nac so these are the two different filters we have taken uh, you know, which have been given by the government of india and uh, to be partner shoot under study india uh, under study india scheme the shoot should rank above 3.26 in nac which is one of the filters and the ranking of the shoot should lie in top 100 so any shoot which were like in india like if any of the so like any, any of you like the students present here if they have research if they have done the research like about the institutions present in india you might have seen that in india there are 40000 colleges are there and then we have more than 1000 universities and then we have approximately 10000 stand alone colleges as well in india so in order to get the best in order to get all these institutes uh, and best institutes for the international students coming to india we have segregated them on the basis of these filters nac and nirf and uh, as of now like if you go on the website of study in india uh, studyindia.gov.in what you can see is that we have only 150 to 162 institutions those who are present on our website so out of this 40000 colleges 10000 of universities and this stand alone colleges we have taken best so any student who plan to come to india for their higher studies when they are coming through the study india portal so they will uh, they will have an option to select all these colleges so if a student want to come to india through this scheme uh, and uh, if they are coming through the centralized website of study india so if they are eligible they can apply for as many colleges as they want next slide so under study india scheme as i was saying at the beginning uh like we have a centralized website studyindia.gov.in this 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 is the website where you will get all the information so all the information about the scholarships information about fee waivers information about the institutions those who are present in india so all the details are present here and uh, moreover the quality of these institutions are assured through the two different filters as i was saying at the beginning the national accreditation and nac and then we have national institution ranking framework the two filters which we are speaking about so these uh, like uh, this filter specify and this is these are the factors uh, due to which uh, like we have got the best institution present in india on our website next
so now uh, i'll start explaining the process of study in india so like the process of study in india is very simple uh, as i was saying at the beginning you have to go on the website of study india the centralized website studyindia.gov.in so once you go on the website at the bottom of the page you will get an option of register now so this is the first process so the process of complete study india is divided into two different sorry three different parts the first part is uh, your registration process and the second part is the counseling process and third will be the lending process so under the registration process once you are at the first step what you are required to do is that you just have to fill your basic details and uh, you have to fill the details uh, like uh, your country code your contact number and the contact number should be given like it should be correct number because most of the informations which are being sent by study in india team are like uh, uh, through the whatsapp messages we have a business whatsapp account and uh, whenever there are there are new enrollments uh, suppose a new university is joining like if you are getting uh, like new iits or iams on boarded with us so we send this information through our social media channels so either it gets posted on our social media or it is uh, so it is uh, like the, it is sent being sent through the whatsapp messages so and moreover there is a provision of otp as well so until unless you provide a correct phone number you won't get the otp and you will not be able to fill the remaining applic uh, application on the website so that is the reason you have to put all the details uh, on the registration pro process uh, in a correct way and then after filling all these this details you will get a registration link activation link on your email id so what you have to do is that once you get that email you have to click on that e uh, email uh, the link which is being sent in that email and then that will validate your account so until unless you are clicking on that email like uh, on the this activation link your account will not be active so it is very much mandatory for all the students who are uh, coming through the study india website to register first and then click on the link which is being provided uh, on the email id which you put during the registration process so about the account activation like uh, like the just for the students uh, like those who uh, like those who could not understand so i have uh, written down the points here again so you have to click on the activation mail this is a sample mail uh, which is present here you just have to click on that activate your account and uh, then your account will get activated moreover we have a contact center so the call center's number is present so 12065650065 and it's a toll free number so any student be like if you are calling from africa or from sar country asian country or anywhere of any part of the world so when you give a call on this number it will just uh, it will just be a missed call and uh, the counselors from the contact center they'll get back to you and you have if you have any query like regarding the registration process or any query so they will resolve it so that was uh, about the uh, account activation and that was the first process of registration and uh, after that once you verify your account second comes the basic information so most of the times what we have seen is that sometimes the students uh, register and then they like do not go ahead with the, about the, with the remaining process so the so, so for those students like once you complete your registration process you have to verify your account and then you have to move to the next part after the registration so where you have to fill all the process, uh, all the details so like i was saying this is a centralized system where student is not required to come to india before he gets the admission letter so that is the reason we need all the details on the website so once you put all these details we see all the information we verify we validate we carry on the counseling process and then the students are given the admission letter so in the basic information page uh, you have to first verify your mobile number so when you put your mobile number uh, uh, like uh, in this window so you will get an option like if you want whether you want to get the otp on your whatsapp or you want to get the otp through the sms or via call so these are the three different procedures so for students those who are uh, those who are not able to get the otp through the uh, through whatsapp they can click on the call option and the ivrs will call back the student and then the otp will be sent so and moreover the student like if they have already validated their one phone number at a time they will not be able to use the same phone number again so it is it is very much important that when uh, you are uh, registering 
yourself on the website register in a, in a proper way and don't use the same application or don't use same details multiple times because if during the verification process it is found that uh, a single student has uh, used the data multiple times or uh, he is trying to get admission in multiple college with the, with different ids his applications will be rejected so that was about the verification and uh, also i would like to inform the students that until unless you verify your phone number we will not be able to move to the next step so you have to keep completing step by step and uh, you have to uh, keep filling the data and uh, keep it keep submitting all the details on the portal so and the second part is uh, academic information page so on, on the academic information page you have to fill uh, your details like class 10th uh, class 12th equivalent or diploma or graduation score pg score or mpl score score this part is also very important because uh, as i was saying the complete counseling of study in india is online so during the counseling process we validate the data which is filled by the students and the seats are allocated on the basis of uh, like the your uh, academic score on the on the basis of uh, the marks which you have got in class 10th or equivalent suppose a student is uh, taking admission uh, for phd uh, the university will cross check all the documents right from 10th uh, onward to his uh, graduation then only he will offer will be offered the admission letter and uh, like some of the students those who do, those who uh, like uh, like since this is present in the percentage format so any any of the countries uh, they are given a grade so the grade conversion document is also present on the website uh, like you can see at the like the, at the top of the page there is a qualification window which is uh, present and on that part the grade conversion document is present you can download that and convert your grade to percentage and put it here in that way so this part is very important because your college allocation depends on the uh, the percentage of marks which you have, you have got in the last examination taken and uh, the student can select word very uh, variety of courses uh, so as i was saying that under study india we have 150 institutions those who are present with us and if a student is eligible for multiple co courses he can apply for all the colleges and uh, moreover for the study India scholarships and uh, we always suggest the students to select as many colleges as you want because the fewer the number of institutes we, you put on the portal the lesser will be your probability to get this scholarship so of course the, this scholarship depends on your mass of the Pragati examination and um, that's the, that is the reason we uh, like we suggest and request all the students to do as many choice fillings as they can do next so this is uh, just an example like uh, to like how you can see the institutes those who are present on the study india website because uh, like if for example if you uh, like if your student is planning to do his, his, uh, uh, a degree in arch architecture so he just has to select the discipline as architecture and then he has to select whether he wants to do the btech or mtech or which uh, like which uh, which program level he wants to go for so once he selects all these options he'll get a list of institutes below that uh, and once the list of institutes are coming he has to the student has to click on the apply link and this institute will get added and uh, once the institutes get added like uh, like the institute like this like uh, the students are requested to like uh, to multiple select selections should be done by these students for example if you can see here on the screen so for example if a student has selected architecture he's getting three Institutes in front him. So first is Andhra University is getting, then Bharat Bharatiyar is is getting, then Bharati Vidyapeet is getting. Such type of institutes the, his the student is getting. He is requested to select all the institutes, like as many choices as he can do. It will be good for the student. Next, about study India scholarships now. The, the scholarships will be given on the basis of the merit of the student during the Pragati examination. So Pragati examination was conducted in the last academic year as well uh, about the curriculum, about the model question paper or anything. The student can refer to the website of Study India. The curriculum is also present and uh, very soon we will be uploading uh, the model papers of Pragati as well on the website. 
and the scholarships will be given only to those students those who take the examination and those who qualify the student for example uh, like if, if there are thousand students from nepal those who are taking this examination so we will shortlist top students on the basis of total number of seats of the country and uh, on the basis of uh, the data which is uh, like on the basis of the test which the student might have taken next so uh, this is the st structure of the study india scholarship examination this is from the pre previous year and this is just for the reference of the students uh, so they can see that uh, they can have uh, multiple sections during the examinations they will get they can get verbal quant logical and uh, like the examination uh, will be like the dates of examinations will be informing very soon or uh, done in the in our next uh, webinar series uh, but meanwhile the students can check the question paper the model papers online and uh, on the same lines the students can start preparing moreover like as i was just speaking at the beginning like the students when they are uploading their documents uh, on the application forms their documents will be verified so the students are requested to fill all their documents in english language so because from india like we get application from across because for example last year in our pragati examination students from across 136 countries took uh, sorry to, uh, around uh, like 14000 students took the test so during this times we validate all the documents we verify all the documents which are being filled by the students and if the documents are found that the documents are not correct uh, our team writes back to the student like like for example this student like this this degree certificate is not correct you need to re-upload the document so that is also a reason you should put your correct email id so that when once you are getting an email you can check like what is the issue with the document and then up upload the correct document so in summary about the uh, study in the admission portal so the first process was otp verification which is the mobile number verification email verification so that was the first step from which the process of study near begins and then after that comes the applicant application filling process third is the complete process you have to fill and then submit the applications and yes to remind the students the complete application is free of cost students are not required to pay anything anywhere so to for any respective university uh, the student is not required to pay anywhere they can come on the portal they can fill the application and they can submit the application no charge is being taken by study india towards any application submitted to us and the scholarship is completely on the basis of merit and there is no human interve intervention on that and the exa an examination will be taken the name of the examination is pragati examination and on that basis your scholarships will be given so about the study india scholarship in basic details study india scholarship up to 32 uh, usd will be awarded to meritorious students on the basis of their merit in pragati examination and Pragati examination will be conducted all across the globe in online mode. If the fees of of the course exceeds the scholarship amount, remaining balance will have to be paid by the student. So, for example, if you are going to any such university where the tuition fees or the total fee fees is, for example, four thousand USD US dollars, then if you are getting a Study India scholarship, Study India will be paying thirty two hundred USD, and remaining charges are to be borne by the student and the scholarship does not cover uh, the airfare or anything and scholarships are awarded only to undergraduate and postgraduate students so phd is not included in this Next. and this is about the fee waiver so uh, as i was saying like we have limited number of scholarships they are only for meritorious students but we have 90000 seats under fee waivers so under study india scheme so there are different types of fee waivers. Uh, the first is G1 fee waiver, where you will get 100% waiver on your tuition fees. So once a student is getting fee waiver 100%, will not be charged any any uh, tuition fee, but he'll be just be liable to pay only the hostel fee and the mess fee. Second is G2 fee waiver, where you'll be given 50% fee waiver, and similarly G3 fee waiver. And in case of G4 fee waiver, like you are like 100%. Tuition fees are to be paid by the student along with the hostel and accommodation charges. So fee waiver only covers the tuition fee. 
and all other expenses such as accommodation, canteen or any other expenses are to be the won by the student. And uh, there was one more point which I missed in my previous slide that uh, in this academic year, like the students, those who are getting scholarships, they will be getting scholarships only for three years. So suppose a student is getting admission in B.Tech, Bachelor of Technology, and the duration of the, of the course is four years. So study in India will be paying on behalf of students for three first three years only. For the last year, the student has to pay himself. Or and for example, if a student is getting um, enrollment in a course like which is for which duration is two years, then the complete tenure, like the complete tenure of two years, the study India will be paying on behalf of the students 3200 USD. So that is what the scholarship of three years stands for. So that was all about the study India application process and the admission process. And uh, this is the contact numbers uh, email ID. Uh, and uh, for any query, you can just get in touch our, with our contact center and our executives will get back to the students, be it anything right from the registration to the choice filling or about the understanding about the scholarship or fee waiver. So anytime you can write to our call center or give a missed call and moreover, we have our social media page as well. So in case of any query and you can write on our social media page as well or uh, you can write your queries and keep following our page. Because all the informations, like as I was saying, like any scholarships are added or any tuition is are added, or there are shoots those who are given ex giving extra tuition fee waivers, all such type of informations will come on the social media page and keep checking our website studyindia.gov.in. So now we'll start taking some of the questions because uh, I think like uh, there are multiple questions, and uh, through my presentation I have already answered most of the questions. So I'll take only those questions uh, which are being felt that this have not been answered. So one question is there that 3200 USD per year or for three years? No, 3200 USD is for uh, per year. For example, if a student is getting admission in BTEC computer science, so study India will pay for all three years. So 3200 in the first year, second year also 3200 and the third year 3200. So fourth year student has to pay himself. And if the fees uh, of the institutions, uh, institution is more than 3200, then the remaining balance student has to pay. Hmm. So about the Pragati examination dates, so the dates have not been finalized yet. And uh, like uh, as soon as the dates are finalized, we'll communicate the same through the uh, through the email IDs which you will put during the registration process, or on our website or social media page. No, it's, uh, like there is a question: Will we have to go to go to a center to give examination, or it will be completely online? So for those students, like the examination will be completely online. Or if any uh, their update is there in future, we'll definitely communicate it on our website. The question, sir, many officials of study India told me that Pragati examination will discontinue from this year. No, this is wrong information. So Pragati examination will be there this year as well. And the information is present on our website. And the students are requested to follow our website only for most uh, most authentic information. So do not believe on any information which is present here and there. So there is question what about stipends? No, there are no stop stipends under study India scheme. We'll be paying 3200 USD of scholarships if you clear during the Pragati examination.
so there is a question by uh, question which says that as the guidelines of study india scholar will get uh, x usd per year that means study india scholar will get for 3 years even if your fees for 3 years are going below 10000 usd or any amount study india will be paying like to the maximum of 3200 usd per year so will not pay more than 3200 usd even if your fees are above that then the student has to pay himself and yes there are very like many students are asking questions about scholarships so there are a very limited number of scholarships for the students and not all students will get the scholarships so you are requested like when you are filling the application fill as many colleges and do see the fee waivers as well we have around 90000 seats under fee waivers so there are variety of fee waivers g1 g2 g3 and g4 different fee waivers are there and so you have to, like when you are applying uh, like you can take the, that into consideration as well and multiple selections uh, multiple choices choice filling should be done by the students when you, once you are filling an application so for example there is a university x so do not go for multiple courses in the same university fill as many universities as you can put because the number of universities was saying the increase in number of universities will increase your probability to get uh, the scholarship there is a question which says can we edit applications yes of course you can edit the applications even if uh, like if you have submitted the application and you feel that uh, like you want to change and make some edit you want to increase your number of uh, colleges or you in uh, like you want to change the course you want to go for in that case you can edit your application and this is it is open as of now as of now the last dates uh, of submissions on is 20th of june so you can start filling the application so only 15 days are left so the students uh, like those who have not filled the application they are requested to go on the website of study in india and fill as soon as possible and those who want uh, like uh, i see few, few questions from uganda and tanzania where it is being said that they have uh, the great documents like they have a plus or a minus or b written on their great conversion documents uh, you will see that great conversion document present on the website so you just go and download that document and beside that you will see the percentage written against that great so i think most of the questions have been answered and uh, we have already shared the contact centers number with you and email id with you and uh, a mail with the uh, the link of today's webinar will be sent to the students those who missed this webinar they can see it again and they can understand the process and uh, remain connected with us and remain connected with the study india website and keep following our social media page for all the updates so thank you students for listening and uh, best of luck towards uh, towards uh, the clearing of the pragati examination and uh, thank you all the students